I have on a little bit of complexion um, in the form of Glossier Stretch, Glossier Stretch and NARS Soft Matte Complete. These two are actually a match made in heaven because this is really dewy, almost like a tinted moisturizer in a jar. And this is like semi-matte, um, sort of medium to full coverage. So they actually work very well together. But I'm not here to talk about concealer because I already did that and it's live on the channel and it should be available somewhere else. Um, this episode of Sh uh, On Cut with KJH Shorts is going to be about bronzer and how I place bronzer. I do it in two ways. I don't think there's a right or wrong, honestly, but I do it in two ways. I sometimes will put bronzer before makeup. And sometimes I'll put it after makeup. I haven't put it before makeup today and I already have complexion on, so I'm gonna show you before makeup in a different video and we're gonna call that underpainting. But now I'm gonna show you over makeup. So this is just a cream bronzer, which is Charlotte Tilbury uh, Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer in the shade number two. And I'm gonna take a medium sized brush. This is my number two Spectrum KJH brush. I'm gonna just be in the frame, in the center, and um, show you how much product I'm gonna pick up. So we've got like about that on the brush. I'm gonna pick up a lot actually just to show you and then I'm gonna take the palm of my hand and whisk it into the palm of my hand so now I'm priming the brush by doing that so the brush now isn't going to deposit a crap ton of product on my face and then I'm not gonna to have to fight to blend it if I went straight to my face with that amount of product I would have probably applied a bit too much and it would have been a little bit tricky to move it all um potentially so then I'm just bringing it around the hairline I have a little pimple on my forehead but we don't really care a little bit on the tip of the nose see i went straight to my nose and this is why i like this series because i almost didn't take my own advice i went straight to my nose with what was on the brush from the pan versus putting it onto the palm of my hand first but also now there is a lot more product in the brush because i went back to the pan however there is a trick for that concealer brush whatever brush that you use for concealer is your bestie when it comes to blending out a little bit too much bronzer a little bit too much blush before i take more i'm just going to take what's left in the brush and start to add a little bit to the cheek. And for, you know, for bronzer, I just like to go around the hairline typically and then a little bit into this sort of hollow or above the hollow or wherever of the cheek. But now I am gonna take some more. I'm gonna apply a lot and I'm gonna show you how to fix it if you accidentally like put too much. So like, you're like, oh no, it's like orange and I look a bit patchy or whatever. First, you will take what's left in that brush from what you just applied and take it elsewhere on the face. And then you will match that side on the jawline up so that you match the same sides okay now you get with this brush because you just took the product that was left over from this and used it elsewhere instead of wasting it you're going to go back with that clean brush and just softly blend and what this does is gives you more use of your product and stops you from wasting product as well as teaching you patience and not to panic that like you've done too much and oh my god you know what am i going to do to get this off i find Often when I'm watching people put makeup on themselves in the blush category, for example, which maybe I'll feature in this video as well, actually, because it's a short video, maybe we'll do a little bit longer. Blush tends to be something that people apply and um, over blend because they're like, oh, that's too much color. Oh my gosh, I can't do that too much color. But then by the time they've blended it out, there's nothing really left anymore. Um, okay, so I'm gonna come real close just so that you can see. The pressure of my bristles this is like a hard blend, right? This is like an intense blend. That's like a rough blend. Your bristles are gonna be like, Bleh. you don't want that. You want this kind of blend. You want the tips of the bristles to be doing the work for you. You should be holding that brush so lightly that it could fall out of your hand if you're not careful. You shouldn't be like death grip on the brush because you'll actually push harder if there's a death grip on the brush. Um, and a little hack with a bronzer actually is take a small brush like this. This is my number 15 pick up a little bit of bronzer and you can just use it to sort of shade around the lip edge a little bit. I'm not so much of a nose contourer, so I'm not gonna do that because it's just not true to my sort of identity, but just to take, I would, I maybe would take some across the tip of the nose and then just blend it in with your concealer brush and then you would finish your makeup. Another use that I love to have for bronzer is to use it on my eyes. So I will take a small eyeshadow brush or a large eyeshadow brush actually. This is my number 10 from a KGH spectrum kit and i'll just pick up some of that cream bronzer and place it on the lid and blend it through and just watch watch that you don't pull the skin do you see the way my skin's creasing as i'm pulling it there watch that you don't do that if possible because it's gonna give you lines in the work that you're applying um if that does happen because it's just the way your skin is just go backwards as well and then you'll basically be 
double checking that you're not leaving any of those sort of marks and and lines um i'm gonna do a touch of blush actually no i'm not i'm gonna save blush for another video um i'm gonna show you how i would solidify this with powder now powder bronzer to make it a little bit longer lasting so a little bit of that there and if you can go underneath okay so here's where we are pretty a little bit a little bit more sun kissed um, I'm going to put powder down because I don't want to put powder bronzer over this because it's going to stick too much. So with this brush, I'm going to take a fresh brush that doesn't have cream bronzer in it. And I'm just going to take a little, this is the number nine brush from Sculpt and this is the Charlotte Tilbury number one. And I'm just going to go lightly over everywhere that I just went with the cream bronzer. Eyelids and all eyelids and all mate all right who watched the white lotus and who saw the meme about about love island and porsche it was funny all right so we're about done with that now i'm going to pick up a crepe powder bronzer bloody hell pick up a powder bronzer this is soft revenge from nabla I love this because it's a little bit cool and it has a little bit of a sheen to it, not glitter, that is not glitter. If anybody tells me that's glittery, I'm literally gonna throw my brushes away. This is not glitter, this is sheen. It's got a little bit of a texture to it, but that's good. It adds like light reflectant. So I'm gonna take the brush that I just powdered with because it's perfectly primed with a little bit of powder. So it's actually gonna shear this down and then I'm gonna apply it to my hand again. And now I'm just gonna apply a little bit more of that in here and then up into the hairline. And because I put powder down first, it's not going on patchy. If it does go on patchy, your concealer brush is your best mate. Remember, your concealer brush is your best friend for all things fixing things. Um, a Q-tip is great too, but it's wasteful, especially if you feel like you need a lot of them. And your brushes can do that as well. A little bit under here. I didn't powder under there though. I'd made a little bit of a faux pas just then, but it's fine. It's not in an area that I feel like it's seen that much, so if it's a little bit more or something, it doesn't really bother me. And that, my friends, is how I bronze in seven minutes and 36 seconds. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Here's what it looks like close up. And yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and please tell me if you like this concept uh, and these videos or pop requests below. If I didn't say that already.